General Motors needed a bailout from the federal government. They argued that their new gas and electric car, the Volt, would help make them a stronger company in the long run. Well, the Volt is not yet for sale in Florida, but I got a hold of one for a couple of days, and here are the results of my test drive. It's weird to plug in a car, but that's what you do with the Chevy Volt. A full charge takes all night and is supposed to carry you 40 to 50 miles on pure electricity. TBT auto writer Peter Kucher believes that's the genius of the Volt. This car can take you from home to work and back without using any gas. You can plug it in at night when you get home, unplug it in the morning, and away you go. It's like plugging in your phone these days. After your battery range is up, a gas engine kicks in to keep you rolling for another 300 miles or so. The transition is seamless. In my 48 hours with the car, I found it to be adequately spacious for my six-foot frame. But is the Volt roomy enough for my son Patrick, also known as Brendan 2.0? Front seat, just fine. The back seat is just too cramped, but the boy is six foot five. For more impressions of the Volt, I enlisted my coworkers. Blake was impressed. It's looks fast. It's a little bit faster than you expect out of an electric car. It's a really smooth ride. Felicia liked it too. And I feel like I'm in some big luxury automobile. And we got raves from Rick and Vicky, who like the layout of the controls and the overall styling. But David... Brakes are a little hinky. ...had some quibbles. The seats are kind of hard, too. The dashboard's, like, super high. It's kind of like a Dick Tracy car. I don't know what this is. It's like the, like the Elton John part of the car. Like sparkly gold plastic. I don't know what's going on here. Can't please everyone, but the Volt is selling briskly in the few states where it's now available. A local dealer told me Florida will start getting inventory in September. The biggest drawback from most drivers, like Blake, is bound to be the price. I'm your average working Joe, so it's a little pricey for me. Pricey as in $40,000 for the basic model. My loaner with leather, nav system, and backup cameras retailed for much more. But Peter Kucher believes the car represents a technical leap forward and mostly lives up to the hype. I think a lot of people were curious about it, and for the most part, I think it delivers what General Motors said it would do. Well, the steep price of the Volt is offset by a federal tax rebate of about $7,000, and auto experts believe that price will drop when production ramps up.